You know how people always say gear doesn't matter and you know you don't need the newest shiny thing? That's true, you don't need all that stuff, you don't need the fancy gear, but getting new gear has some sort of side benefits apart from you know their actual use. I recently got the Nisi Athena 50mm Prime Cine Lens and it's had some sort of side benefits apart from just being a great piece of equipment. I've also sort of given myself a bit of a challenge where I like I'm down at my parents' place for the weekend and every single thing that I'm shooting this weekend, unless it's this video because I'm, you know, got this in the shot, is on the A7 IV with the Nisi Athena. So I'm shooting everything manual focus and yeah, I'm just really trying to learn this lens, do some tests with it. So throughout this video will just be sort of those test shots that I've shot this weekend. The first thing is a little bit more for me and anyone else in similar scenarios as me, which is like I'm a creator who makes content about cameras and camera gear. So it gives me content and it gives me things to make content about. So that's sort of one sort of side benefit that if you're not making stuff about the stuff you're using, then it's not really going to be a benefit to you. But I really like doing behind the scenes stuff and then yeah, like gear reviews and stuff like that. So this gives me something to make content about as well as something to make content with. The next benefit is kind of just like experimentation. Like when you get something new, it just sort of sparks that curiosity where you're like, oh, what if I try this? What if I try this? And when you're just testing something, it can sort of bring out a little bit of that curiosity. So that's another thing is like, I want to know what this lens looks like at T1.9 or T2.8 or, you know, practicing with manual focus because I haven't really done much manual focusing before, but this is fully manual. So I've had to get used to that. And I think the biggest thing that new gear inspires is just that it inspires you to create. One thing that I noticed with this before I even got it, when I knew it was coming, I actually wrote like five YouTube videos plus a short film idea for this just because I knew I was getting it. And not only is that not content that I would have made otherwise, because obviously I need, you know, I need the gear to make the content about the gear, but even that, you know, I came up with a short film idea because I wanted to shoot something proper with this. So I wrote a little short film. I'm gonna shoot it probably in the next couple of weeks. So you probably won't see it for a few weeks, but, and it's also not a very, it's gonna be a very short film. It'll be like a one or two minutes but it sort of reignites that inspiration, the curiosity, the passion, whatever you want to call it, for filmmaking. And it just sort of brings out that creative side that maybe was hidden because you were sort of bored with what you were using. And just even the prospect of new gear can sort of reignite that. I'm not saying you need to buy new gear to you know, be inspired, you should be trying to be creative anyway. And I'm also not saying that you need to have the best gear to make certain things. You can you can shoot very good things with very little. So don't take this as a me saying, you need to get a cinema lens or you need to get this camera or that camera. But doing that, I have found, does inspire that little bit of creativity, not only with content, but also with, you know, films, I guess, if you, if you want to call it that. And also sort of like a side benefit. These are all kind of side benefits, but an even more side benefit. I've noticed this like with most pieces of gear that I've got with my cameras, with lenses and stuff, is I kind of use it as a bit of a fidget toy when I'm sitting at my desk watching a YouTube video or something like that, doing something that doesn't really require my hands. I'll just be like, you know, fiddling with this. I'll turn on the camera and, you know, just focus around, like do little compositions around my room and basically just use, you know, this $2,000 cinema lens as a fidget toy. Maybe that's just me, but that's something I definitely do when I get new gear. Anyway, this was just a quick one about that. I'm gonna be making a bunch of videos about this, gonna have an overview of it soon, and then yeah, I'll have behind the scenes stuff and more videos coming very soon. So do all the things. Go watch the live stream about this lens when I unbox it if you are wanting to see a little bit more and I haven't posted those other videos yet. But I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.